Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today, uh, back working on this uh, here turd. This is gonna be part three of the, part three of three. Uh, I'm not gonna milk it out any longer as far as what we got going on is, uh, fabrication wise. Um, there'll definitely be a lot more videos on this truck and certain things, but this'll, this'll more or less wrap up the suspension part of it, suspension aspect of it. Uh, but today, I'm gonna finish wrapping up uh, more or less welding these out and also uh, I'm gonna gusset these pretty well up here um, because this so let me, let me back up a step um, getting a few comments saying you know this is this isn't the correct way to do it and I know it's not the correct way I 100% will tell you right right now that I have no idea if this is uh, if this is gonna work or not but you know uh, I won't know until I try so therefore that's what I that's my plan so anyway, you know, this, this is not ideal because obviously, uh, like I mentioned in the first video about this project, this does create a lot more, uh, you know, downforce, i.e., you know, axle wrap on the axle. So, you know, in that sense, it is, <clears throat> it is not right. Um, I just, I just, with how low I wanted the truck, there's no way I could have put that bag above the axle and still, you know, I could have notched out some of the frame, but it is what it is. Like I said, this is not correct, but you know, ideally our four link is going to take care of that. But then again, we'll never know. Um, you know, down the road, I might wind up changing this. I don't know. But that leads me into something else. Uh, I, there's there's a bunch of like for like hot rod builds. Um, you know, old Chevys and blah blah blah. You know, guys that put air suspension on them, they <clears throat> they'll have their bag behind the axle, but Granted, they're not going to carry as much weight as this truck will. What leads me to my next point is I'm going to be, uh, for those interested, I, I got a website up right now, and there's not a lot on it. Um, but anyhow, I'd like to. I'm going to be starting to add, you know, a few a few things, um, certain things like this because not every everybody's application is the same. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be offering some some fab parts, um, more or less as you guys request them. You know, I, I'm probably going to add more. As, as I feel the you know the need for stuff. All right, so I lost my train of thought there, but anyhow, uh, we were talking about fab parts. Uh, I got a website up, and anyhow, to those to those that know about the giveaway, uh, I gave away a sticker. Uh, and now it's kind of you know this is my uh, my logo for my business, Panic Fabrications. Um, also had keychains, but anyhow, got a website up. If you guys are interested, um, we have. These stickers, I'll show you a little more in, in a second what I got. I only have pictures of them right now. But by the time you see this video, they should be should be up and available on the website. <clears throat> but anyhow, got these. You got this in white, got this in black. Then we got another sticker. And then also we have uh, keychains. So those that are inter interested in keychains. Um, and then also, so right now, just, just something simple for now. But this is a t-shirt we got. Got a gray and a uh, and a black that's the back of them that's the front but uh anyhow if you guys are interested in picking up a t-shirt go check it out i'll put the website on the screen and also put a link in the uh, in the description all right so here is uh sticker options kind of tell but white and black we got and then uh the panic fabrications uh it's like a circle sticker with the color if you guys are interested go check it out panicfabrications.com put it on the screen link in the description uh Anyhow, so let's get back to the project. To those that are going to ask, I am going to do a little review here uh, coming up real soon. I just want to get a little more time with it. Um, pros, obviously, this thing is awesome because, I mean, you can't get that kind of accuracy by hand and, and do all the little intricate things and stuff. So, I mean... For that it goes, it's awesome. You know, repetitive stuff. It's awesome. Uh, cons would be, you know, it's it's hard to get them. You know, being a two by two, you can't really get a whole lot. Say you want to cut, you know, X amount out of four by eight sheet plate. You know, you got that much. You're gonna have a lot more waste cutting two by two sheets, sticking on here, and cutting them out, and rather you know a bigger machine. So obviously, you know, for a little shop here, I don't have any room you know for for anything big anyway right now so this is awesome but obviously you know get get as big as you can get but for for a little home hobbyist this thing is awesome
right, uh, so we just got this here kind of welded in, got the bolt holes drilled, uh, going to be fine for what we need. Uh, but while Ethan here is cutting the plates for the compressors and while, while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and talk about these. Um, just via uh, Amazon special, uh, there's some of the specifications if you want to see 400C, dual, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then also with this truck, I'm going to be running a leveling valve um, for this truck. So leveling valve plus this here rod, which if you don't know what that is, big rigs, this is mainly what they, you know, or essentially all of them are, uh, have leveling valves to where at that certain, you know, air doesn't escape one way or the other at that certain height. And then obviously as the thing changes this way or that way, you know, air is, uh, either supplied or, you know, decreased in it. So that's, that's what also we're running on that. Uh, this here is more or less adjustable, meaning this here, all it is, is just slides on and suction, suction holds that on. Give me a second. That's what we're going to be doing on here. And I think that's pretty much it. I also have to figure out some way, cause I want to be able to have like a dump feature in it. Cause the loving valve will, will hold it at a certain height. So whatever rod height I decide to set it at, that's where it'll, it'll stay. Um, but the, I want to, I need somewhere where I can be able to, uh, dump the air in the bag that way, you know, I'm hooking up a trailer or something. I just I drop the rear end down, back up and pick the back end back up. You know, that's an easy way to, to hook up trailers and stuff. So got to figure something out for that. Um, not sure yet, but I'm going to, going to get working on that shortly. But anyhow, so that's what we got. Uh, show you real quick before he starts cutting another one but got those that gusset in there that's just i mean there's no there's no there's not a lot of back and forth in it it's mainly just twist uh you know that that's that's keeping this here so there is a little bit of back and forth mainly worry about is is it twisting so anyhow i'm gonna keep plugging away and see what we get done today this leveling valve in here um, just a piece of two inch tube got some bolts tacked to the uh, through the back side there to get it off the frame and then um, this here is just a uh, the relief air on it but anyhow got a multiple bracket in way case I want to change it up or down just drilled a bunch of holes and pieces thing there and so anyhow that's right now this is about where it's gonna ride more or less that's where I got it set at right now which will be just like it is so that's how that works more or less i still like i said i'm not sure still got to figure out a bunch of how to um <clears throat> how to tee off and put valves and this that and the other so i can i'll be able to dump the air out of it so i got to figure that out yet but um the got this all done holes drilled one compressor here one compressor over there tank in the middle obviously got that all done um I squirted some paint on this and the other side, just 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 so it doesn't rust. Because um, this is gonna be the hardest thing to clean, more or less, once it's um, you know together and less sandblasting. So I just want to spray it. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up a lot better before it gets totally done. But I'm not gonna paint anything. I'm just gonna kind of get everything done, and just I'm gonna go ahead and bolt everything up to it. Get the get the tanks, get the compressors in, so I can more or less figure out where it's gonna go. Um, but remember, we're putting an air dog in this and a sump as well so we're going to wind up dropping the tank anyway so when that's when that happens that's when i'm going to clean up everything here everything's going to get cleaned up painted um the axle is going to get pulled out i'm going to go ahead like i said this truck does have like 300,000 miles on it um 
the hubs do get a little warm every now you know you pull the loader pull something heavy they do get a little warm so i'm going to go ahead and probably change bearings out um maybe not right away but i do have them on the shelf in stock ready to go in uh whenever i get the earth to do that um but i might need to do other things before then i don't know but anyhow so we're just we're just focusing on getting everything working properly and then one day once it's all once everything's together then it's going to get uh, broken down. Everything's, everything's coming out of here, so that way I can clean everything, paint everything. Um, going to paint paint it with uh, some Pour 15 undercoating. So hopefully this will outlast the uh, the work I'm doing here. But anyhow, um, what I'm going to do now, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and bolt bolt the stuff up in here. Maybe not all the way, but get it up in here so I know exact kind of where it's going to sit. Um, but I'm just going to weld a little tab for this. What a little tab off the frame for the brake line. Um, just put a bolt hole through it. And then, so, got one there. One on the other side. I'm going to get new brake lines for those because I stressed them out, moving them back and forth a little bit. So I'll get new brake lines for them sooner or later. Uh, but anyhow, as far as this goes, got to tag that up there. And then, the last thing will be uh, these e-brake cables. I'm not sure. I had them... I had them situated one somehow the other day. I can't remember what I did with them, but that's the, that's the last thing we more or less need to figure out as far as fabrication wise. And after that, then we're we're basically done with the fabrication, and then it's just a matter of getting the rest of all this done. Uh, same thing, same time. Whenever I go to clean the frame up, these are going to come off. That's going to come off. Um, probably these two. They're really not serving a purpose anymore. So I'll probably wind up taking those off as well, and. I don't know, maybe I'll get the hanker engine and, and uh, cut these and that off too, whatever comes that time. But I don't know, who cares? So anyway, I'm going to cut a couple plates real quick for, for that tab and tab on the other side. Get this uh, button down in the back and then uh, we'll see where the where rest of the time we get here. quick little hoop to do for the uh, e-brake cable so what I'm gonna do is cut out a hole in the frame this, uh, big enough for this nut and then I'm gonna weld that nut into the frame and then I'll be a that'll be a threaded like basically a threaded hole but anyhow that way that'll go through the cables run, run through right here just kind of hold them support them All right, everyone. So, got all the bars back in, so I can I can move this truck out of the way now. But uh, that's that right there. Like I said, I just cut a hole big enough for the nut to go in. Put the nut in there, welded it. That way, I got just had to thread a hole. The easiest way to get that, you know, get some more meat than just maybe tapping a hole in that and drilling a hole and all that. So, um, this here will hold them pretty much out of the way. I might have to, to add another one in, but. I don't really know where it's going to land until I get this cable on, but I don't want to do that yet because I still want to be able to pull the axle back out and uh, <clears throat> do that. Also, like right here, I might add another one up here. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure where it's going to, where it's all going to fall yet. But if need be, I can put one there. I just might just put a bunch, you know, another piece of sheathing around these so it doesn't, uh, you know, rub on that right there, or something or another. But I'll figure something out. Um, as far as that goes, those tabs are on for those brake lines there. Um, these are welded in solid. Just got you know enough weld on the outside there to hold them. But 
far as that goes, that's going to wrap up part three. Part three of three, meaning uh, we're done basically with the fabrication uh, on this truck, more or less. Like I said, we're still going to clean it all up. Man, that's bright. Like I said before, we're still going to clean everything up a lot better once the once we start tearing tearing the whole thing down but that's going to be a little bit yet but nonetheless we still got uh still got everything else in here is done um still movable drivable if need be so all uh, all good there but anyway guys that's going to wrap it up for this uh for this video so i just want to say thanks everyone for watching also once again if you guys want a sticker keychain t-shirt go check it out panicfabrications.com like i said i'll put the link in the uh, description below but anyhow guys thanks for watching and uh definitely guys definitely see you guys on the next one thanks guys